The Grim Reaper, the scythe-wielding embodiment of death, a ghoulish cloaked humanoid walking among the living in order to collect the dead and take them to the afterlife. Doesn't sound like a chap I want to party with, although I don't have to because he simply isn't real. What if he was though? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that likes to answer a breadth of queries from history, politics, science, pop culture and fiction. Why? Because curious minds are strong minds. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm asking what if if the Grim Reaper was real. So before we get into this video, I just want to remind you guys that Halloween is a coming. Hip hip hooray. You know what that means, an onslaught of spooky videos. If you have any suggestions as to what you would like to see, why don't you let me know. Also, while you're down there leaving a comment, why don't you guys hit that thumbs up button and share this video with someone who needs a good spook today. Also, if you guys want to connect with the creative team that went into making this video, the links to our social medias are in the description box. Alright Grim Reaper, what you got? So the concept the concept of the Grim Reaper dates back over many thousands of years and appears in many hundreds of cultures. The Egyptians, for example, put a face to death with a jackal headed Anubis, the god of death. The Grim Reaper, as we know him today, is a skeleton wearing a cloak and holding a scythe, a used by farmers to reap the harvest, much like old Grimmy Chap reaps souls. This version of the Reaper was popularized after the Black Death killed off 40 to 60 percent of the population of Europe. At this point, bodies were being piled in the streets or carried by on cars and people started imagining death walking among them, and in some ways, it really was. Death is the ultimate difficult concept to get our heads around. We only know living, so imagining something as abstract as death, which seems so final and unfair, is better comprehended when someone can imagine it as a thing, a character coming to take us away. So we know where he came from and why he was thought up, but none of us have actually ever seen the Grim Reaper because, well, so far as we're aware, he isn't real. What if he was? Well, first thing is first, he would become a lot more visible to us as he would be one of the busiest guys in the world. There are around 150,000 worldwide deaths every day. While a larger proportion of these are in problem areas like third world countries, that is still an unfathomable amount of ground to cover and souls to reap in 24 hours without a break. Unless the Grim Reaper is some kind of tireless time traveller, then there must be more than one of him, which leads me to question whether or not the Grim Reapers are part of a bigger thing? Are they agents of something wider? Perhaps people would loiter by the dying and wait to meet the Grim Reaper in order to ask him a few questions, before he trots off to wherever he is going with the souls of the dead. Excuse me Grim Reaper, who are you working for? We need answers. Ok, here's another question. Where exactly is he going and can non dead people see him? Would we be able to track him and find the portal to the underworld? If the Grim Reaper was real, then that would mean the afterlife must be real and that's a whole separate can of worms. I'm not sure we have the time or the breath for right now. Suffice to say, humans will want answers, but would we be prepared to deal with them if they came? While we're on some grand theological topics, let's talk about how the Grim Reaper is often depicted holding an hourglass, and he comes for you when, I quote, your time is up. If the Grim Reaper was real, would that mean our deaths are already predetermined? If so, what are the wider implications of that? If the Grim Reaper is real, does that mean that fate is real? Does it mean we're all doomed? from day one. So here's the thought for you, if the Grim Reaper was real, a real guy or walking skeleton, however you want to imagine him, but real nonetheless, does that mean we could cheat him? Could we cheat death? I don't know if you guys have ever played The Sims, but I have and it's a constant battle to try and shut the Grim Reaper out, but he comes anyway. Some people say that in The Sims 4 they have managed to stop him. Would humans be able to do the same? Obviously we'd give it a go, businesses would start selling literal death traps, but would they work? And if we could stop the Grim Reaper, what would that that mean for our burgeoning population? Or would it mean that people are still dead but their souls stay on earth rather than being guided to the afterlife? Ah, I'm back with the questioning again, there are so many! Maybe we need one of these death traps to keep him still for a while so we can interrogate him. How long till we ask him why the scythe and cloak? Like mate, what is this look about? Are you just trying to scare us or is this some kind of personal style? Oh, and also, do you think the Grim Reaper has a personality? What do you think his voice sounds like? Deep and spooky right? Does he have an accent. Where's he from? Does he have a Mrs. Reaper at home? Maybe the Grim Reaper is controversially actually a woman anyway. Or maybe death doesn't have a gender, but like, it's a skeleton so it 
must have had a body once, right? Why is the Grim Reaper a human skeleton? Does the human skeleton reap the death of animals? Or is there like a little skeletal fish reaper for dying fish and a spooky bones only owl to reap birds? Listen, I just have too many questions. So what if the Grim Reaper was real? Well in some ways it is. The Grim Reaper is the personification of death and of course death is very much real. We just can't comprehend it. So guys, what do you think would happen if the Grim Reaper was real and what would you say to it if you had the misfortune of meeting it? What question would you ask? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you in the next video but until then, stay curious, stay alert and never ever stop questioning and like this video.